and I'm most days I'm here and meet a lot of the community coming and going or the dog walkers and people just strolling across. So we have a sort of strong link to our community and that's what it is. It's a commu community project. So that's who we want to be there for. But we do work with 20 to 30 schools and nurseries and really we started off by inviting them and literally taking them by the hand and walking them to here. Uh -huh. And, and after we've done it a few times and they've realised that we usually really always are on top of the risk assessments and the litter picking and the, so things are pretty safe and they are, it's tidy and clean here and, and the dog workers are a part of our community, they're quite a tight knit community so really they look after the dogs and they don't let the dogs run about if they're not happy sort of bouncy dogs and, um, and they pick after their dogs really. We've, that's, I think these guys are from the college. So it just goes up to then the college and universities, they look into, they research things on whatever. The biologists do their meadow and sparrow um, research or, or all sorts of um, stuff's going on, yeah. So we are, we are used for many things. <laughs> it's quite interesting how you bump into people and you think, oh yeah, that's, yeah, okay, we're here for you too. Okay, <laughs> hi there. <laughs> so it's from preschool, then primary school, then all sorts of special needs schools, um, and then the secondary school. So our main three secondary schools are Hillet High and Clevedon and John Paul. Okay. And then we've got Abercorn who came this morning. They are special needs secondary school. So um, these are our main, our three main um, uh, secondary schools, and we work with all the feeder schools. So we try to work with all of them. However, some are really quite far away and we have reached out and did, we've done some stuff in, the, in their garden because we don't really want to encourage lots of traffic. Sometimes, so by now, after 10 years, people know this area pretty well and know we're here. But for years and years and years, people said, I just never knew it was here. I lived two streets away. Uh -huh. I just hadn't got a clue that this was here. So we have successfully engaged with so many schools round about and community groups that people now know it is here and they do come and bring their mums and dads and grannies and this is what we want. So so we do we try to connect it all up and make sense to them because yeah. like like I say visually with our forest school sign they, they want to know what's happening and for some you telling them isn't enough but digging a hole in the ground sticking a bulb in and coming back in months time there's a plant they're like stay off my plant that's like I planted that don't come into this bit this is where we grow things you know yeah. so so just engage them and make them part of it and be part of this outdoor community yeah. the toddler groups are on all year round so every Wednesday and every Friday sitting in the snow and the sleet and the rain and the we've got big tarps up and people do come they just feel like they have to get out and yeah. having kids but you just have to take them out and we also, they, they get in touch with us to say, I've got a three-month-old, can I come? I'm thinking, absolutely come, even yeah. for the chat. Yeah. Just chat to people. Yeah. Just be part of something yeah. that's, uh, that's outside of your house yeah. and involves other people. And you don't need to worry about your masks. Thing. and Yeah. So, so it's, been, it's been great. And it's a shame there's not more of our uh, space like this. Uh -huh. not, there should be a children's wood in every community, really.